I'm Dom Wiseman for Club Marine TV, and it seems the Europeans have truly arrived. They are dominating the boating market in Australia right now. But do they make the best day boats for Australian conditions? Well, I'm standing on board one of the most beautiful, curvaceous and spacious day boats to hit the market, the Pardo 38. Come with me and let's take a look on board. The Pardo brand is of course Italian. There are a number of boats in the range, all the way up to the 18 metre Endurance 60. This, the 11 metre Pardo 38, is the smallest boat they make, but it misses nothing when you consider what they've fit in, and the detail is incredible. This would have to be one of the most stunning day boats I've seen. We've already tested the Pardo 43 previously, but this boat will be slightly more manageable without sacrificing too many onboard luxuries. It has beautiful lines, the reverse bow with integrated anchor hatch, a seemingly wide midpoint and a curvaceous hull line that together is every bit as sporty as a Ferrari. This is a true sports boat with performance to match. I'm here with Joe Fox from E-Yachts. Joe, tell us what sort of people are attracted to the Pardo brand? Yeah, so it's really um, quite a range of people. I think it's people looking for a simple boat. Um, you know, maybe downsizing from, from the big rivers, the big Maritimos, looking for a boat with as much deck space as they would have had on a, on a much bigger traditional style boat. And what do they like doing with their boats? Obviously it's a day boat, where do they go? So really given the nature of the boat, it's about enjoying the space on board. It's about those quiet anchorages, picking up a mooring, spending half a day under the shade of the awning, um, kids swimming off the back. Uh, go down for a nap downstairs during the day if you, if you get a bit too much sun. So it's, um, yeah, family, day use, typical European day boat, really. To get into a Pardo, what am I looking at? So the base price on this model with the twin 300s, um, you're looking at 879,000. And then from there, the more you add, obviously, the... Yeah, the more you add, there are engine options, um, air conditioning, generator, navigation, sound systems, yep. um, all different levels of spec. Um, but this boat ends up at about 1.1 million. Thanks Joe for your time. Let's take a look around. It's hard not to be truly impressed with the amount of space on board the Pardo 38. The walkways are generous and there is plenty of space in and around each section that allows you easy access in and out of it. When you look at the effort they've gone to to make it easy to move around, you'll notice that there are grab handles at every opportunity and that makes it nice and safe for people to also move between areas, but also safe if you've got small children aboard. I really do like the way that they haven't stretched these seats all the way across the boat, again, leaving plenty of room to move from one seat to another. When we're talking about day boating, where you're gonna spend most of your time is in the cockpit up top. And the entertaining space on board this Pardo 38 is designed brilliantly. You've got two facing bench seats, easily accommodating six people. And if you want, you can option up and have a drop down table here in the center and turn this entire area into a sun lounge. It really is a versatile space and one that you probably will rarely leave once you're on board. The T-top is standard and can house a retractable awning delivering shade to the rear cockpit area. The wet bar is centrally located and accessible from either side of the boat. But I really do like how they've put this wet bar together. On this side here, we've got a fridge down below. In the center, you've got a sink and a cooktop, and below that, a bin and more storage. Now, over here, you can elect to have storage, a second fridge, or an ice maker. And if that's not enough space for your cold drink storage, there is an option to have a further two fridges located in the back of this bench seat. It is a very well executed space. As well as all that, you've got an enormous amount of bench space. So if you want to put your drinks or food up here, guests can come and access them easily. It's very, very well done. The bow area is really reserved for sunbathing. Now sitting on top of the cabin below is a large double sun pad with quilted stitching. It's a brilliant space to sit down. You've got a drink holder there relax and enjoy a little bit of sunshine. There are no grab handles up towards the bow, but the gunnel height is such that you feel completely safe at all times. The anchor hatch is located in the floor at the bow, and the anchor is quite unique in that it pops out of the hull and drops down from there. It truly is a great design. 
To give you an idea of the lengths that Pardo go to with their detail, you need only to have a look at the pop-up cleats located around the boat. They're embossed with the Pardo insignia. And right in front of them, they each have a stainless steel rail, and that's there purely to stop rope from rubbing on the teak deck. If you look back towards the windscreen, you'll notice that the windscreen fixings also have the Pardo insignia on them. And that sort of detail sets the tone for the entire boat. Realistically, you're gonna spend most of your time up on the deck, enjoying the sunshine, weather permitted, of course. But down below, Pardo have added a whole lot of luxury that you can sink your teeth into should the occasion require it. Down here, it is a very open plan design. In fact, it's the largest in its class. You've got a north-south facing bed at the bow and plenty of storage. Down underneath the helm position, you've got two single beds. You can leave that space if you prefer as storage, but I think most owners would go for that double single option. The combined toilet shower is located on the starboard side and is finished just as you would expect of a boat of this class. There is ample headroom and the overhead sunlight embodies the spacious feel found elsewhere on board. This space is more than you would need for a day on the water, yet also perfect if a weekend away is on your menu. Powering the Pardo 38 are triple 300 horsepower V8 Mercury outboards. Now before we get on to performance, the advantages of the outboard setup is that there's a large void underneath the cockpit dining area which gives you plenty of extra storage on board. The other option is of course inboard power. Now that inboard power obviously takes up that void so there's no storage there. The advantages of the inboards is that you get a full width swim platform down the back. Personally, as it stands, there's still enough of a platform either side of the outboards for me to jump into and get out of the water, so that's more than enough for me. While we're not testing inboards today, my understanding is that they're not as fast as this triple outboard setup. And to give you a little idea of how that triple outboard setup looks when you put the throttle down, just listen to this. Cruising along now at about 25 knots, I'm using 120 litres per hour. That's across all three engines, and that is pretty good fuel efficiency for a boat of this size. Top speed is 45 knots, and we'll give that a quick go here. So that's flat out, we'll come up to speed. I might run out of room, but we're doing about 42 knots and doing 270 litres of fuel per hour, and that's obviously not the speed you want to drive at all the time. So that I'm not shouting, I've brought it back to a more leisurely pace of around 10 knots. Now, the driving position is located in the centre of the boat, and that gives you really good access either side, because let's face it, your friends aren't going to help you dock or more or anything like that so you need to be able to access all parts of the boat. And it also gives you excellent visibility. You've got an acrylic windscreen here. There is a optional glass if you prefer, but as it stands, the view is exceptional and I can see all around the boat. Whether you're standing or seated, it's all very comfortable. You've got tilt adjustable steering here. Throttles are perfectly placed for a boat like this, which is all about enjoyment and also performance. You've also got Mercury joystick control for your docking and that gives you a really, really quick and responsive return in terms of where the boat goes when you're coming in to put it into a berth. This boat is equipped with Mercury's active trim control and I must say it does a really good job of automatically working out where the trim needs to sit for the best ride for the boat. There's also a zip wake here. Again, it's an automatic system. You can manually adjust it but most of the time it will work automatically to deliver the best ride for this particular boat. And while this is a sporty boat, it's not in a way that you feel like you're driving a little car like a Lotus Elise or something. This is more about performance with a touch of luxury. Your Rolls Royce or your Bentley Bentayga type drive. It's incredibly stable on the water, very sure of itself, 
and it cuts through the weight with ease and it is very comfortable underway. After driving this boat rigged with triple 300 horsepower Mercury outboards, there is no doubt that that upgraded engine option is the one to go for. Standard, you can get twin 300 horsepower engines, but with the triples, the performance is exhilarating. The boat is exquisite to drive. The triple engine setup is definitely a beautiful combination for the Pardo 38 hull. After spending a day on board, there is no doubt in my mind that this is an exquisite day boat, perfect for Australian conditions. This boat is designed for someone who's looking for something a little bit different. Something that's going to stand out, something better. And this is one of the finest examples of European day boats you could find on the water today. The design, the detail, the fit and the finish on this boat are impossible to fault. And driving it really does blend that line between luxury boating and performance as well. There is no doubt the ideal way to spend a summer's day is on board a Pardo 38. I'm Dom Wiseman for Club Marine TV. I'll see you on the next episode.